So tell us a little bit about selenium, this incredible, incredible mineral, and some of the things that you can use it for. And I want you to uh, give, play special attention on how selenium is involved with the thyroid, how selenium is involved with diabetes, and all the different things that you can use with this incredible mineral that, by the way, is active in microgram quantities, the tiniest of quantities. Maybe touch on that a little bit. Okay, as you say, selenium is one of those wonderful trace minerals, um, which is an essential nutrient. We need it. We can't live without it. And it's, uh, uh, it has many functions. It's a structural uh, mineral um, when it comes to chromosomes, right? Epigenetics. Uh, epigenetics, we'll get into that, right? But it's a structural piece in the actual normal double helix. Uh, is, part it, of the, it's, is it one of the fingers that you were talking it's about? It's one of the metallic yeah, yeah. fingers that, that keeps this double helix of the chromosome in the, in the proper distance of each other. There's a little strut there. In the middle of these struts, there's all these different minerals, and selenium is one of them. Wow. So the, the helix itself is, is an incredibly organized structure, mm -hmm. and every little component of it is key. The distance that the, the nucleotides are from each other, all that is tightly, tightly regulated, and minerals like selenium are involved in making sure that this structure stays intact. That's what the fingers are. Exactly. And when you have a deficiency of selenium, many things happen. In the biochemical level, uh, you can't recycle glutathione, which is one of the most potent antioxidants made by the body. The most, maybe. Mm -hmm. And it's used to protect you from cancer and fend off inflammation in your arteries so you don't get clogged arteries and that kind of stuff. But if you don't have enough selenium, you use one molecule of glutathione and it, it sort of deactivates. But when you have selenium, you can recycle that one molecule of glutathione a thousand times. That's awesome. Because that's very awesome. And then it protects your brain from MS. When you have MS, you have a terrible, terrible um, selenium deficiency because it allows the free radical damage to the myelin, the white matter of the brain again, and you get these lesions in the brain about the size of a lima bean uh, that cause MS. So supplementing with selenium? For can prevent or reverse MS. Wow. Along Two with the 90 essential nutrients. You can't buy it not by itself. That's right. So 200 micrograms, 400 micrograms? What do you well, think? I like to be a little heavy-handed. 600? I like to be a little heavy-handed. 800? A milligram, yeah. A milligram of A thousand micrograms. Yeah. Okay. When you have these diseases, you need to, you know, you need to use a bigger hammer, right? Okay, okay. HIV. You can prevent HIV from mutating to AIDS by supplementing with selenium. Wow. One milligram a day. What's the difference between Arthur Ashe, the great black um, tennis player, and uh, Magic Johnson, the great black basketball player? One is dead, one's alive. Yeah, yeah. One's supplementing with selenium, one didn't. Is that what, uh, that's what Magic Johnson's doing? Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Now. How about just even just a common cold or just like well, flus and that I'm kind of thing? I'm getting there. Okay. I'm getting there. That's very good. You're on top of it. All right. Um, but I also, it's one of the things that's, they actually discovered, Dr. Gerhard Schrauser, a grand man, he's the guy who discovered that um, uh, selenium is an essential nutrient back in 1957. They didn't consider it essential back then. No, they, they considered they it a poison. poison. Yes, exactly, right. they thought that's it was right. a poison. Even medical doctors today still yeah. think it's a poison. Yeah. But it actually was discovered to be an essential nutrient. And the disease he was looking at was liver necrosis, the death of your liver. If you survive death of your liver, you got cirrhosis of the liver, right? And this is all caused by not drinking because 99% of the people who get liver cirrhosis never took a drink of alcohol in their life. Right. It's a selenium deficiency. Wow. I get people off the liver transplant list all wow. the time. Wow, wow, wow. That's them, a big problem today, mm -hmm. non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Mm -hmm. That's a huge problem. Fatty liver, yeah. primary sclerosing cholangitis, yeah. liver cirrhosis. Yeah. I've had people, pharmacists, Ben, who've had 32 liver operations at Harvard Medical School. Their livers are the size of an Oreo cookie and I rebuild them in two months to a normal liver. Just using the 90 essential nutrients and extra selenium. Right. Okay. And then there's cataracts that are caused by a selenium deficiency wow. and free radical damage, eating fried foods, free radical damage to the lens of the eye and no selenium to protect it. And then you get cardiomyopathy heart disease. I've done Keishon one- Keishon syndrome. Keishon syndrome, That's yeah. Right. I've done 1,200 autopsies on kids under the age of 10 in Keishon province, China, 1,200. Autopsies. Nobody else has ever done that. They're all deficient. They're all deficient yeah. in, sel in selenium. And partially because of our work there in China, every school kid, when you go to kindergarten, they get a multiple and a, a capsule of selenium. selenium. We've wiped out cardiomyopathy heart disease in children in That's China. That's awesome. Is that awesome? That's awesome. Now, there's a sh there's, isn't there an animal correlate to this Keishon syndrome, yes. selenium deficiency? Yes. Is sheep? Well... In every animal you can name, there's a, there's a correlation. But in pigs, they call it mulberry heart disease. In sheep, they call it stiff lamb disease because uh -huh. when they have heart disease, they kind of walk with arch back and they're kind of stiff. And in calves, cattle, they call it white muscle disease because when you cut through the heart, instead of having this beautiful kind of reddish purple heart color, uh, it looks like um, a good um, perch muscle. It's white. 
So they call it white muscle disease. And you can prevent it with... Um, a little uh, bit of selenium. With, well, with the 90th century, you're supposed to extra selenium. If they get it and they survive the first heart attack or you catch it with just arrhythmias in their heart, you give them the selenium, it goes away. How about for the thyroid? The thyroid gland, of course, uh, there's actually a syndrome called Wilson syndrome. The question is, how many nutrients does your thyroid require? A lot, probably. Not. All 90. Yeah. Now, if you ask a physician, iodine, they'll say iodine right. because it's part of the structure right. of the thyroid hormone. hormone. But that's only the part of the structure. But for the thyroid gland to work, it needs all 90. Of course. Duh. Right? And so um, a lot of times when they look at the T3, T4, the TSH, and all that kind of stuff, really what they're looking for is iodine levels. Hmm? And so you can be perfect. They say, well, we don't know why you're having all these symptoms of well, thyroid disease. Because, yeah, we give them iodine and nothing changes. Well, that's because it's a selenium deficiency. That's interesting. Well, selenium is involved in the, in the in hormone the, as well. well it's, it's part it, of the structure it, as well, it, no? It's part of the structure, but it actually is... Uh, even equally importantly, is part of the process of making the hormone, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, as is copper and everything else. And then, of course, it's necessary for the health of your muscles. Muscular dystrophy is Can caused, I... muscular dystrophy is a selenium deficiency. Wow. Now, a, a fellow by the name of Marvin Rapp and I, who grew up Amish, and he went in and became a Navy SEAL. Going from the Amish world to the Navy SEAL, he comes back after 20 years in the, in the SEALs. He goes back, a worldly man now, and he sees all these kids dying of mustard dystrophy in the Amish community. And so I go there and I say, well, this is what we see in calves that have mustard dystrophy or white muscle disease. And it's a selenium deficiency. So we went to Purdue University, and sure enough, in Indiana, wherever these kids are that have mustard dystrophy, there's always a selenium deficiency in the soil. So we started giving them the 90th century nutrients, giving them extra selenium, and the mustard dystrophy goes away in a couple of weeks. Even if they've been in wheelchairs for years, we That's get another wheelchair to go play That's basketball. So we send all this information to Jerry Lewis. This is a gospel truth story now. We send all this information to Jerry Lewis. He Five must have years. He loved it. He went crazy, positive. He loves it. Yeah. I said, now, Jerry, we're not asking for money. We already know the cause, prevention, and cure of muscular dystrophy in kids. We already know this. And we just think it's appropriate that we offer to you the opportunity to make the news release because you're. Mr. The guy, muscular district. you are, they're Jerry's kids, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So you're the obvious guy to make the news release if you want to. If you say no, we'll just, we'll be happy. But at least my conscience is okay because I've given you the opportunity. He gets excited. He takes it to the medical committee uh, and the Muscular Dystrophy so Foundation. Excited? They fire Jerry Lewis. That's why Jerry Lewis has not been on the telethon for the last oh, two years. Oh, that's an amazing story. And they sent him on a cruise. They actually bought him a ticket to say, we have a non-disclosure contract with you, Jerry. You can lose everything. We'll sue you for everything. If you bring this up, and so we're sending you on a cruise, go enjoy yourself. And don't bring it up. Again. We want you away from here wow. when we're having this telethon year, this year because everybody's going to say, well, where's Jerry? So For the last two, it's over with. He's, That's a great story. Yeah, yeah, and so guess. they fired Jerry Lewis because we discovered the Solenium. cause friendship cure of, oh, and I knew what it was for a long time, but until Marvin Rapp came back from being a Navy SEAL and introduced me to the Amish community, I didn't have access to those kids. So um, selenium must for, uh, for, muscular, for muscular dystrophy. But I think your point's well taken that you have to have the entire mighty 90. These things mm -hmm. are specific for disease states, but the entire milieu of the body has to be nutriated. That's right, because everything kind of works together. Yeah. And if, you, you have to have the metabolism to be able to repair yourself. You have to have the metabolism to operate uh, just in life. And so to think you can cherry pick one nutrient, this is one of the bad things the medical system does. Allopathic nutrition, I call it. Yes. Where you just use a nutrient like it's one kind of drug, one kind of disease. One exactly. Use a nutrient as a drug. Yeah. Instead of using the whole... I, I liken it to grandma's recipe for um, an angel food cake, for instance. And she dies and she leaves her secret recipe to her favorite granddaughter, right? Right. But the granddaughter doesn't like some of the ingredients. She says, I really don't like eggs because of cholesterol theory, right? It's not going to be the same cake. And so you leave the, the eggs out and all you get is a angel food crepe. Yeah. You don't right. get angel right. food cake. Right, right, right. Because all the ingredients work together. Exactly. And the Mighty 90 works together the same way. Yeah.